Hi there, and welcome to this video on the dentistry interview, focusing on the topic of making dental care free on the NHS. I'm Alice from Dentist Mind, where we go through the important topics of the dentistry interviews. Whichever university you're applying for, MMI or panel, we've got you covered. If you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button. Whilst you're watching, please leave any comments below if you're unsure about anything. We've got helpful timestamps below for each part of the video to help guide you. The following video is a free sample of our full interview course, which you can buy by clicking on the link below in the description. So, let's get started. Welcome to lesson 9 of NHS Dentistry. This time we're going to ask the question, should dental treatment be free on the NHS? So again, this is a question that could come up in your interviews and we're going to give you some information on both the pros and cons of dentistry being free and therefore you can give quite a balanced answer if you do get asked this question. So here are a few of our tips on how to answer this question if you do get asked it. So you might want to start talking about your knowledge of dentistry in general in terms of what the NHS currently provides. So maybe talk about the band system and how the costs are different depending on different bands for the patient or maybe talk about units of dental activity as well and how these relate to the banding system. You may also want to talk about the fact that the NHS is already free for some people and others have to pay. So for example, if you're under 18 or if you're pregnant, then you get free dental treatment already. So talking about this shows that you understand the current situation. You may be aware that if you want the NHS to be free, then the funding is going to have to come from somewhere else. And if you state this in your answer, then be prepared for the interviewer to ask you more questions about this and about where you think the funding should come from. And overall, you want to come to a balanced conclusion. So you want to talk about the pros and the cons and weigh these up before making your decision. And therefore it shows you've considered both sides of the argument. So one of the reasons why people think the NHS should provide free dentistry is that even with the banding system, there is a bit of a lottery in terms of where funding is given. And if dental treatment was free, this would be more evenly shared out and therefore it would be fairer in terms of the funding for different treatments and what's available currently by the NHS. Even though the NHS does currently subsidise dental treatment, a lot of people still avoid going to the dentist because of the cost implications. So even though the treatment is heavily subsidised, making it cheaper than it would otherwise be, you still have to contribute to the cost of your dental treatment. And for people who are very low on money, they may not want to spend this at the dentist and may have other priorities for spending. Therefore, if you made dental treatment free, it may persuade these people to be more likely to go to the dentist when they might otherwise avoid it for the cost implications. So another reason why dental treatment should be free is that dental hygiene is linked to a lot of comorbidities. And if you improve dental hygiene by providing free dental care to everyone, you would reduce the cost spent on treating these comorbidities. So for example, if you improve the periodontal health of the nation and therefore improve the heart conditions of the nation, we won't be spending as much money in the NHS on treating the people with the heart conditions if you can prevent it initially. So one of the arguments as to why the current system actually works better is the cost of dental materials, instruments and equipment is incredibly high. So if you wanted to make the service free to everyone, you'd have to increase the amount of tax charge to cover it. And people may not want this, so they may not want to be paying high tax for things that they may not actually need because the people who have really good dental health and don't actually take much treatment from the dentist may be opposed to paying increased tax for those who do require all this treatment from the dentist. Another reason why people argue that the NHS shouldn't provide free dentistry is that initially when the NHS was created, dentistry was free along with prescriptions. However, this cost was so much that it almost destroyed the NHS initially as they simply couldn't cover it. So there is a concern that if dentistry was made free on the NHS again, it could go back to this and the NHS may struggle to survive. A further reason why the NHS may not be a good idea to provide dentistry for free is that a lot of procedures like cosmetics can be seen as luxuries. So if patients are having treatments to correct the aesthetics of their teeth um, for free on the NHS, then this is a bit of a slippery slope as people might start to request things like uh, plastic surgery for free because it's a cosmetic thing and therefore you kind of have to consider the fact that there has to be a limit somewhere you can't just provide everything for free so where is it that we have to draw this line so that's the end of lesson nine and the end of the nhs dentistry tutorial 
I hope it's given you a lot of answers if any of these questions come up in your interview and you now have a wider understanding of the NHS and how it's relevant in dentistry. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe by clicking below and please leave a comment. Click here to continue watching our interview series and to unlock full access to 70 tutorials covering core interview topics, MMI mocks, top tips and more, click on the link in the description below.